So we have to talk about how 343 added a classic game mode, but forgot the classic in the game mode. And then as well as everything we need to know and everything we currently know about the Halo Infinite Battle Royale, codename Tatanka. Welcome back to another take here at Esports with Elrod. And in starting this out, I don't understand how you can add a classic game mode, but forget the classic. If you guys haven't seen it on the timeline, you haven't logged into Halo Infinite, haven't seen it for yourself, they added a sniper shotty mode. And it even gave us a teaser thumbnail with a guy holding a sniper and a shotgun in your hand, just like the name would suggest. However, it's not completely a sniper shotty playlist because you're also getting a cubby snipes and a banished snipes. And the Covenant snipe is, is a freaking stalker rifle with a carbine rifle, right? So I don't understand where the snipe is or the shotty in that. And then you have the banished skewer and mangler. Like, the mangler's been the most divisive thing in Halo Infinite, and they just keep throwing it down our throats with a tactical mangler, with it in Last Spartan Standing. 343 three really likes the mangler. It, for me, it's just such a disappointment to see that, like, if you want to add all those different modes, why can't Sniper Shoddy be a mode or a playlist where you click on it, and you, then you could choose Sniper Shoddy, Covenant Shoddy, or, you know, Covenant Snipes, whatever you want to call it, but allow people to choose. Maybe 343 is afraid to do that because there's already such a long queue time that if you divide the player base up even more so, you might not be able to find the game in the amount of time that it's currently taking, which right now it's still too damn long. But with all of that said, I am glad that 343 did this one thing right, and that is they uploaded their hands or offloaded this project to a certain affinity, and this project is codenamed Tatanka, and the, the, the goal of it is to attract players who are involved in the Warzone, Apex, and Fortnite communities. And if that doesn't sound or scream a battle royale, I don't know what does. But there was a recent article uploaded just like 23, 24 hours ago as of making this video. And it kind of breaks down everything we know about the Halo Infinite Battle Royale, so why don't I break it down for you guys? It starts out with saying, Halo Infinite has been a tricky game to nail down. Its debut was Seismic, marketing the franchise's biggest launch ever with 20 million users accounted for by the end of January. If you guys remember, Halo Infinite the launch was deemed one of the best launches of 2021. Like the start of Halo Infinite was great. Everyone was just like overflowing on Hopium because the foundation, the skeleton of Halo Infinite was great. Fueled in part by the game's free to play model, popularity aside, the biggest knock for the latest entry to the franchise has been a lack of content. Really that's everyone's biggest complaint. Well, it was, is a lack of content. Then it gets to like quality of life with gun jamming and desync and they're working on addressing that. It's mostly fixed, but still there's some desync issues. But the possibility of a battle royale mode hitting the slate of multiplayer options, however, adds some much needed diversification. And Halo definitely needs that diversification. And we can see that there was this leak from Halo Infinite Leaks that Tatanka script names. We have Tatanka Shock Blossom, Hard Light Barrier, Vehicle Repair Kit, Grav Lift, Recto Retro Reflective Dome. Spartan Launcher, Team Teleporter, Accelerator, Power Boost, Deployment Key, Deployment Key Chunk, Deployment Fragment, Ammo Pickup, Gear Catch, and Weapon Upgrade Truck. All of these kind of give me Battle Royale themes, especially the Deployment Key, but I'm very curious to see what the difference of the Key, the Key Chunk, and the Key Fragment, what that's going to be all about. And rumors have it that there's going to be a PvP VE element to the game kind of like how fortnite did with the the zombies that kind of invaded the areas or if you played black ops 4 the blackout mode there were zombies on different points of the map to allow that pve while at a pvp setting i think that was done executed really well not so much in fortnite but more so bo4 but it says here rumors have also suggested infinite may add a battle royale mode with a pvpve element and objectives to be completed within the mode outside of simply being the last team standing. What I've heard, and this is their testing, they're testing a sort of PvPVE kind of thing. It's not a traditional battle royale. It's not going to be a complete copy and clone of PUBG, for example. It's not going to be a one-to-one -one clone, but I've heard it's going to be with duos, a trios, possibly quads. If this is true, as the claim about high value targets and FOBs, it's possible that the players will have to contend with fighting off the banished as well as other Spartans. Corden also explained that some details that he heard about in the game's map and development process of the mode so far. It's a big map with shrinking circles, like a battle royale. It forces you to move around the map. There will be different objectives and things like that that you'll be able to accomplish and, and complete 
as you're doing it and while you're in the game. For me, this gets me so excited, and I've made multiple videos already where I think that Halo's Battle Royale could be something that just changes the scene completely with a really well done PvPVE arena. Imagine a last Spartan standing, but it's a team style variant on a much larger map. Instead of upgrading your weapons as you get killed, you could pick them up from different POVs or from fallen Spartans. You can have repair kits for vehicles that get shut down and broken down. And there's even grav lifts and teleporter for quick movement around the map. I'm curious to see how those will work. But I really want to know all your thoughts down below in the comments. Give me some well thought out comments. I really want to reply to each and every comment that's made in this video. But with that being said, I hope you guys enjoy this video. If you do, hit that like button for me. Okay, three, two, one. Boom! Here's a picture of Annie. Right, you know what? Today, when I came home to make this video, I actually found out that this cutest pup went into the trash and ate the freaking buffalo wings from the night previous. We have buffalo wings, and I put them on the counter, and this little girl who kind of gets anxiety, this is her way to retaliate to me when I have to leave and go to the gym and where I'm gone for the day for most of the house. I noticed she tries to chew something up. So I got to work on that behavior, but thank you for staying with me this far into the video. Uh, if you guys got that vibe, I was at the gym when I came home. So if you guys are seeing this and you haven't got your fitness in, give me a follow online. I share some fitness stuff because I want to create a fit gamer society because not only do I think fitness helps your confidence, I think it also helps you mentally. And during Pride Month, I know there's a lot of mental um, you know, illness and mental exhaustion and anxiety that gets brought up along with this. So let's just, you know, like be kind to each other. I have some gay friends who are super happy. Uh, you know, shout out to them. Shout out to you, Matt. Shout out to you, Eric. Shout out to you, Alex. You guys are great. Um, you, you see uh, one of your gay friends? Slap him on the butt and tell him happy Pride Month. See how that goes. Well, <laughs> with that said, I'll get you guys in the next one. Peace.